The first time we heard of Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship was in 2016. Since then, it has become the focus of the entire world, and updates on its development are closely watched. On the other hand, the vast majority of uneducated individuals have a significant predisposition in its favor. Therefore, it's helpful to learn about Elon Musk's greatest gift to humanity from a specialist. If you want to learn what experts have to say about the Starship and Musk's proposal to colonize Mars, stick around till the end. Welcome to our channel, guys. In today's video, we'll discuss what scientists really think of SpaceX Starship, and it will surely blow your mind. Before that, do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. SpaceX's Starship, a huge spacecraft built to carry large amounts of goods and passengers to the furthest limits of our solar system, has NASA scientists buzzing. NASA researcher Jennifer Heldman stated, You can use Starship's architecture to travel to the outer solar system in ways we hadn't considered before. It has the potential to provide a revolutionary new way of exploring these worlds. Heldman thinks that the size of the Starship may prove to be a deciding factor in the first human mission to Mars. Additionally, it might make it simpler to send robotic research apparatus to the other planets and moons. Heldman urged planetary scientists to begin considering the Starship's potential applications because it is a remarkable invention. For almost six years, engineers at SpaceX have been working diligently on the Starship, and in the past 12 months or so, they have finished a number of early test flights. Although there is still more technical work to be done, the business seems to be making good progress towards producing a fully reusable, inexpensive, super heavy lift rocket that can carry up to 100 tons to the surface of the majority of the solar system worlds. Scientists are focused on just one rocket and their wilder aspirations to explore the cosmos, Starship. Starship's not just an incremental change, says Jennifer Heldman of the NASA Ames Research Center. This is a significant paradigm shift. Although it is uncertain whether Starship will be able to meet Musk's optimistic estimate of less than $10 million per launch, Starship is anticipated to be relatively less expensive. Musk believes that Starship are the essential spacecraft for bringing people to Mars and eventually creating a self-sufficient colony there. However, there are a lot of potential uses for such a vehicle in science, exploration, and defense. The planetary scientific community was first engaged by SpaceX in 2018 with a series of Mars workshops that addressed fundamental issues, including probable Mars landing locations and knowledge gaps that need to be filled before people can live and operate on the planet's surface safely. Several dozen well-known figures from the Mars research community accepted the company's invitation to join. Some individuals previously supported the SpaceX vision, while others expressed skepticism. But at the time, SpaceX was only starting to develop its rockets. Some of the pessimistic planetary scientists had their opinions modified as time went on and SpaceX built and tested prototypes. One of the planetary scientists and Mars specialists who was able to attend the session, Tanya Harrison, remarked, People's opinions have shifted as Starship has become more real. The selection of a Starship for lunar missions was a huge boost to credibility. By the beginning of 2021, the majority of workshop attendees understood how crucial it was to convince NASA to deploy starships for science missions. So, in May 2021, Heldman published a study titled Accelerating Martian and Lunar Science Through SpaceX Starship Voyages, alongside a number of other NASA scientists and space specialists. In addition to Heldman, several academic Mars experts also signed the article, and SpaceX essentially pressured NASA's top officials to start supporting scientific payloads that could sail on starships. NASA must create a funded program that is in line with the Starship development approach, including a quick development schedule, a relatively high risk tolerance in comparison to conventional planetary science missions, and ultimately, a high ratio of potential science value for the money spent. But what distinguishes the Starship from other existing spacecraft? The two most urgent concerns for scientists when designing space missions have, up to now, been cost and mass. Both issues have a solution thanks to SpaceX. A spaceship offers considerably less cash. The requirement that scientists be hyper-focused on mass has been eliminated, which is the most significant change. They can now transport more shielding and instrumentation. This upcoming planetary mission demonstrates how SpaceX has the capacity to benefit future generations. 
scientist James Head from Brown University assisted NASA in the 1960s in choosing the location for the Apollo landings and trained the astronauts who made the landings. He afterwards had a renowned career in planetary science. Head joyfully signed the document and expressed his appreciation for SpaceX's compelling goal and its tireless efforts to realize it. It's remarkable how quickly Blue Origin and SpaceX are developing. Elon Musk just gave his most recent update on his ambitions to take people to Mars from a stage outside in South Texas, in front of displays with expert computer graphics and with a real, enormous, shiny rocket in the background. Mr. Musk's lecture was colorful in describing his idea of humans living on other planets, but he was less outgoing when discussing the specifics of how the enormous SpaceX rocket spaceship, which is essential to these and other objectives, operates. The spacecraft must clear many technological and legal obstacles before it can enter orbit or fulfill a billion-dollar contract to land NASA astronauts on the moon, let alone inhabit the Red Planet. For many years, SpaceX has been developing Starship, the most potent rocket ever. In addition, it would be entirely recyclable, unlike any prior rocket. According to his concept, a self-sufficient city with a million residents may be built by 2050. He plans to construct roughly 1,000 Starship aircraft and launch three each day. About 100 people and 100 tons of goods would fit on each spacecraft. All of this is being done in an effort to settle permanently on Mars. Through SpaceX, Musk is progressively making science fiction a reality. Celebrity astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has expressed some strong comments about Elon Musk's ventures. He still opposes the Mars mission, but he has come to like Musk. During a Reddit Ask Me Anything session in 2017, he was questioned. We were worried about the unfolding, says John Blevins of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, but with a larger rocket, you don't have to unfold in space. You can do it on the ground. If they get anywhere near that cost, it's kind of an analog to a 747 and a shipping container all in one, said Robin Haig, former head of launch in the UK launch company Skyrona. That's going to be used through the solar system. Starship has a usable space of 1,000 cubic meters, which is sufficient to accommodate the full disassembled Eiffel Tower, though not powerful enough to lift it into orbit. Heldman and her co-workers published a report on the equipment Starship may transport to the lunar or Martian surface as a result of this enormous capability. Refilling Starship in orbit effectively resets the rocket equation, allowing for large payloads to be transported to the Moon and Mars. The more mass you wish to launch, historically, the more thrust you require on an exponential scale, the authors noted. However, starships are not confined to these locations. It is not fine-tuned to either the Moon or Mars, says Margarita Maranova, a former senior Mars development engineer at SpaceX. The goal for Starship is to create this more generic, large-scale exploration capability. Launching full-size drills, as opposed to miniature ones, is one idea. You can put a 100-foot or 30-meter drill on the vehicle and then just deploy it, Heldman says. You don't have to try and fold it up. That's exciting because you can drill down into ice on Mars, which is very important for sustaining human exploration and also the search for life. Starship might potentially provide a two-way delivery service, bringing massive amounts of supplies from these and other planets back to Earth. We've always been very cautious about the samples we return because we've been limited by the amount of mass, Heldman says. With Starship, you can just load up that vehicle with rocks and ice and whatever else you can find. Starship may deliver a stack of six-meter telescopes into orbit in a single launch, enabling the construction of a far larger virtual telescope. According to Elvis, this might give views of thousands of supermassive black holes that are present at the centers of galaxies like our own. What do you think about the Starship? Will it redefine space exploration? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to give us a like, share, and do subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.